Thanks for clicking on that video. Today we're back with the Broken Wing Racing League, my Sunday night league, and we're at the Nurburgring. Starting 10th, I've got Nick in the chat with me tonight. He's starting in 5th. We're representing Improper Racing, both driving the Porsche, and really just looking to have a good time tonight. If you like what I'm doing, please like, comment, subscribe, and if you're interested in Discord communities, there is a link to mine in the description below. I hope you guys enjoy this race, and I'll see you in the next video. I like that I can see Nick. Probably confuses people that we drive the same livery. It's like, hey, I thought I just saw that gold Porsche. I haven't really thought about dirty air through these really fast corners up here. Could be fun. First lap. Oh, my God. They just completely piled up back there. Alright. I'm excited that the officials are here this week too. It'll be a lot of fun. <clears throat> as long as you can stay out of the mess. I mean, I think if they have like an um, separated qualifying session for those, so I need to go through and do that at some point early so that I can at least have something in. It's got a nice gap now, four seconds behind. I always like being the last person in the party. Honestly. I don't have to worry about anybody on my butt. <clears throat> Dang it.
<laughs> yeah, I'm good with being the caboose. How you First, doing back there, Chris? Chilling, man. I'm just the caboose in this train. There's a big pilot behind me, so I'm just at the back of our line. Gotcha. Ooh, little arrow wash. <laughs> I don't understand why I'm so slow there. Why? <laughs> Gotta stop letting off there. Or downshifting. Don't want to lose Lost this draft. The draft damn it. Yeah, I was just thinking of the same thing. <clears throat> Come on, keep it. Sniff it. If I lose this draft, I'd really be in no man's land. Uh-oh. Come on. I just need to have a good exit there next time. I'm so not used to carrying that much speed because I'm used to coming off the GP circuit. I keep screwing that corner up. The first corner. Great save, Peter. Fifteen people tonight. Love it. Welcome, welcome. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I rate. I do real racing with fake cars on the internet and stream it for the dozens and dozens of fans across the world. Oh, no more gears. <laughs> That's a great corner. If you like what you're watching, hit the like button. Help your boy. Like that's gonna get pretty sketchy in the Porsche as we get deeper into this race. Damn, sorry, no, it sucks. Respect to him. He towed, I think. Let's take a peek at that. How long did it take to learn the Nurburgring? Great question. Um, so basically, a bit of pavement there. I've been on iRacing for a long time, and every time this track would come up, <laughs> I would always just, you know, uh, skirt it and wouldn't do it because I didn't know it. So basically, early, early this year, right around Daytona 24 time, I was like, I'm going to do the Nurburgring 24-hour race this year. Like, I'm not... Chris, I nailed it on the second lap. a boy. I uh, decided I was going to do it, so it's like, I got to learn it. So basically, every night or every other night when I was on iRacing, I'd basically 
finish whatever I was doing for the night, and then I'd come here and I'd run like a lap, maybe two. And uh, just this configuration, not the GP circuit. So I would say it probably took me, like with that being it, we're talking 20, 30 minutes a night. I probably learned, and I say learning, meaning I knew what was coming next. You know what I mean? There's a difference, right, between like being able to race it, drive it relatively quickly, and knowing what's coming next. Uh, I'd say I got to that part pretty fast, probably within like a week or two at most. And then over the next two months, basically, I've been driving it a little bit here and there. And uh, I've gotten to a point where I can at least do it reasonably quickly. I'm still nowhere near fast on this track, but good enough for me. So hopefully that helps answer that question a little bit. But it's a beast, man. But I got to tell you, it's so rewarding. Like, it's worth it. It's so worth it. If you've never done it, do it. It's just awesome to drive. Awesome to drive. Tough to race on, but... I'm thrilled. I'm so excited for the 24-hour race this weekend. This coming weekend. The guy I'm on Discord with is one of my teammates for that race this weekend. We're driving GT3. He's up ahead of me a little bit. He's currently sitting P5. Mazza. jump is so sketchy. Love to close this gap up before we get to the straight. Ooh. Don't want to wreck trying to do it. Good news, Chris. What hit me with it? We're still in touch with the leader. That a boy. I'm just trying to sniff eighth place uh, his draft. No, I mean you included, dude. I'm back here. I'm glad you at least held on to their draft. Yeah, I managed to get it back in the first section. Nice man. Noah was harassing me, and I managed to keep him to a bay. Yeah, unfortunately, he and somebody back here had contact, and he's gone now. Uh, it's funny how the first and last corners here are actually kind of difficult. Turn one. Good Lord. Dude, I was literally saying about to say the same thing. First time I didn't run through it. Nailed maybe is strong for me, but I didn't run through it. I don't know how that wasn't a 1x, but I'll take it. Yeah. Ooh, side by side through uh, flute flats. Nah, he tucked back in. Oh, okay. We're chilling, y'all. Why would I do that? <laughs> oh my god. Almost died. Almost died. Wow. Alright. Turn it down. I've lost the draft. Somehow, some way, maybe we can find it again. Oh, pushing. Big time pushing. That was sketchy as hell. What's up, Ty?
How in the hell are they getting that far left in that corner? It's apparently the right line because they're all doing it, but damn. Bad that I've lost this draft here. I want to start minding the gap to the dude behind. I guess there's only so much I can do about that, but at least like to know. Six four, six five. Oh, this place is so wild, dude. It's a great track, it's very difficult. I noticed that I was doing that early enough, and I think I just hit the brakes too hard, unfortunately. I think I hit the brakes too hard, got into ABS, and just slipped through it. Double shift. Dang it, man. This could be a lonely race. I mean, I'll take a P8 on lonely race. Help him be great points. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on up there? Arrow washing the kink on the uh, uphill stream. Oh, God. I see a yellow. Right side carousel. That was the leader. Looks like he's got it going again. Be smooth. Don't worry about trying to close the gap ahead at this point. It's big enough, it'll happen or it won't. If I can be smooth and put some good laps in, I mean, I'm not going to fall back, so. This point of the race, I'm my biggest enemy, <laughs> honestly. Just making a silly mistake. Most likely outcome for failure here. This whole section looks very simple, and it is at this point, but oh, the car is so out of whack early. Really got to keep on it to not spin out. Same with this, or really the one before it. Whoever designed this track is a genius and a madman all at the same time. Don't tell me it was Hitler. I'm always afraid I'm going to push super wide on the right hander before the back stretch. Yeah, Except same. It always grips up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I feel like there is something historically to Nazi Germany about this track. I feel like they built it during that time period. I want to say that had something to do with, like, keeping the army busy or something. Let me look that up again. If anybody knows, tell me. I forget, but there's something, the story goes something like that. Kind of crazy to think about. The 
Oh, I didn't practice pit stops here. Yeah, same. I did one. It's super sketchy getting in there, so you just gotta be really slow. I'll just use my faster pair on the wall bang I do. Ooh, forgot we have that. Come on, turn. Again with the second gear. Come on, Nick. You got about the fast repair. Thank God for us, Turf. Oh, God. Maybe I'll do that at a safer place, eh? Yeah, I thought it was something like that. Fast repair selected. That's such a sketchy corner. I don't know what it is about this track, man, but something just... It just sparks joy. It's just fun, man. Hmm. Fascinating. Makes you feel like you're in like an actual street race and not a circuit race. Too much. Dang it. Let me double check this. Fast repair checked. Fueling checked. No tires. A little tail happy there. Alright, don't do that thing I did last time. So don't break way too early. What's up, dude? How you doing? Hello, hello. Just cruising, yeah, around Germany. Ah. That'll wake you up. Long time in LFS. LFS. I'm not sure what that means. LFS. Yeah, you made up some time on me there. Unfortunate. to go. Hey, 
pit stop, 31 liters. He's talking to his crew chief. He's in VR, he has to talk to it. What headset do you use again? Uh, the Reverb G2. Gotcha. Alright, pit stop time. Ooh. We are very close to needing more... I can probably get away with a little bit less fuel than I'm adding, but... Hmm. Looks like we're close to going an extra lap, too. Unless I'm reading this wrong. Don't forget about the pit stops. Alright, boys. Pit this time, pit this time, pit this time. Lots of pitting in front of you. It's the freaking smallest. Jeez. Turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in. Skirt. All right. <laughs> go back, go, go back, go. Come on, fellas. Uh -huh. Any better than that? Come on. B three. Shit. Wrong button. Nice, man. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, I've, I've been working on the 24-hour layout, too. I'm doing the, that race next week. Hopefully we got enough fuel, because if it goes an extra lap, we're in trouble. That Sunday night. <laughs> Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Chilling in Germany. All right, looks like I'm P8. I'm not really sure, though. The gap is five. Track time's creeping up a little bit. It's almost 21. It's funny. Almost 21. <clears throat> Love it. It's quite cold. Alright, we got a nice gap now. I might have been a little tight on fuel, but if I need to say, I can. Golly. I always get such a bad exit out of there. And it's such an important corner. <laughs> okay, come on, get the grip. Wow. Car was not gripping at all. Yeah, I think I'm just carrying a little bit too much speed. That's a really tough corner to get right. A lot of things going on there. I'm still showing two and a half laps. Same. 
Yeah, I think the pit, the fact that the leaders had to stop for pits um, affected the overall pace it, it was expecting. Yeah. And so the little blue line for me is further way further back than it was. <laughs> yeah, it's a real challenging corner. I mean, it, the person that designed this track did a phenomenal job. All the most important corners have, you know, like incredibly difficult sections to them generally. So they they knew what they were doing. That's for sure. <laughs> Great place to lap though, man. Oh, nice, man. Great track. How'd that go? Is it wet for that? Like all the sprint races have been? Did you do three hours of Bathurst in the rain? Are you okay? Holy shit. Dry, okay. I was gonna say, good grief. Doing that in the rain would just... Oh my god. It would be insane. to the right more that's awesome dude that's got to be great for your sr yeah my group me and nick and two other guys that are part of our six or our uh 24 hour race it's just these we did the four hour on. race last yesterday here and it was whoo i gained like 2.3 sr yesterday just from that race and i only did one hour yeah, if I squint really hard, I can see you guys. Will you see the drink? Some old eyes, Chris. Oh, my brother. Yeah, but the big thing. <laughs> All right, driving with one knee. <sighs> Made it. Well, that was an adventurous drink of some water. And the car feels like it's plowing. You gonna change brake bias? I bumped it back once, but it's on entry. I guess brake bias would help with that, wouldn't it? Yeah, probably. The point. <laughs> <laughs> Can't compute, Nordschleife. <laughs> Words are hard. There's my first one, X. Bump it back another. Hopefully that doesn't kill me later. <laughs> Might be pit here in a couple of laps, just be aware. I did one click back myself. This freaking corner. It's almost killed me a few times today. There we go. Hey, 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 Chad, shut the fuck up. Jesus, I'm trying. It's hard. Two minutes to go. It's like, if you don't realize we're fighting for PA here... I don't know what to tell you, crew chief. I mean, I'm fighting myself for it, too, let's be real. 
Nice, dude. 4.7b is solid. I'm so slow in that section. Ooh, they had a mistake ahead or something. Just caught up by like three seconds. Better. Even though the time doesn't say it. Okay. So we got about a lap and a half to go. Yeah, man. Very cool. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where? Incident left side. Thank you. Cool, cool. That's P2, baby. I see the smoke. Trying to stay focused here. Got too many things going on. <laughs> I'll figure that out one day too. Good grief. <clears throat> it's like I know how to get through there, but for some reason I just have these brain parts in the middle of driving. Thinking about streaming, thinking about chat, thinking about too many things. Driving, Discord, too much stuff. Oh, this is VRS. I like to try different ones. So VRS and Hymo. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. So if I join the chat, does it make it even more confusing for you? Probably uh, not. Probably. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Not much. You guys are doing good. I'm just going to stay out of it. Take it easy. See ya. I was just complaining about uh, on my chat or on my stream about focusing. <laughs> That's why I joined. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I like VRS. I want to... I have this, like, secret desire to learn how to do setups. So I guess it's not so secret, but... Um, of all the things I don't have time for, it's probably the biggest. But yeah, I'd like to I'd like to learn. Even if I just kept using VRS, but used it as a baseline and then tweaked it a little bit to my my liking. Catching the leader ever so slightly. Gaps come down about a second since the straight. Nice, the dude. Straight. Focus and get him. Yeah, I don't mess with any of the settings right now because I don't really understand what they mean outside of uh, the wing. But generally, that's not something I need to mess with. So, I'm, I'll, I have a person that knows this stuff really well. He's got a little guide that he has shared with me privately. So, I'm going to read that. Well, the picking up the base too. Holy shit. So that's kind of my goal. I just, like most things, I gotta find some time to do it. Kind of, you can still kind of see them. Right, if you look like really far ahead and do one of these numbers, you can see them. But they're up there. <laughs> they're there! Somewhere! Hi guys! Hey, if you could just give me that draft. 
All right, one more to go. Good on fuel, just by about a liter. Let's see, we're in a 44 and they were on 43s. That a boy? Oh no. Still alive. No way, they must be running 33s, right? Huh, 43. Just lost all that time I made up. Oh man. have a good final lap here we're just sitting in no man's land we got 11 seconds ahead and 11 seconds behind just try to keep it clean for one more lap p7 will be a great points haul for the night i'm not doing quite as well in the points this season as i did last season i chalk that up to not following the officials very directly and so it's, I find it difficult to practice two different tracks and do like content creation and oh, I have a job <laughs> and kids playing bass, you know, all the They're things. So. That corner that way before, and I hope to never do that again. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So anyway, it's been difficult this season because of that, but I think we're following it. A little bit. I think we're at Suzuka and somewhere else. But anywho. Damn job, man. Damn job. I appreciate it. Snow Jockey. I need, I forgot. What's your... Is it Austin? Is Austin your first name? I suck at names. I really... Shit. Believe it or not, I really do. Flanagan's got my draft now. <laughs> Austin. That's right. I thought so. But, uh... Yeah, I appreciate it, man. Feeling pretty good. I don't know, to tell you the truth. I just kind of blacked out. No, I don't know, man. I, I try to remember people's names. I feel like it's the least I can do. People are going to come spend time watching me turn left and right. I'll do my best to remember your name. <laughs> All right, not good, but not as bad. Now, if we can get this one, we'll be all right. Hey, look at that patience! It's a virtue. Names and names are unimportant. What kind? What kind of car do they have? That I don't know. We haven't talked much about cars. I have a truck and a Corvette. That's what I got. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for the Corvette, too. Took the top off. Did some cruising. Beautiful day. I think the high around here was like 71, maybe. 72 tops. Beautiful. Low humidity. Windy. Perfect day. C5 F4. Damn, dude. C5 was one of the. It was pretty much the one I wanted the most because that's the one that was out when I was like in high school. So it's just kind of like a, that was one of the first. It's definitely not the first Corvette I ever saw, but it was prevalent at a time when I was focused more on cars, I guess. Oh, why do I, am I read, reading chat going through some of the most difficult corners ever? Take you as an apprentice. <laughs> nice. Oh. 
I have to be more disciplined than that. There we go. Alright, final stretch here. A little sketchy. So they're a little noisy, but the real issue is because the microphone is now like right in front of my wheel. Gotta find a way to get the suppressor up so it blocks those out. But the microphone's like literally within eight inches of the wheel, 10 inches of the wheel. But this is the Cuban Controls F Pro. It is a little clicky, but it's not too bad. All right, where did he finish? P2, oh boy. I'm not gonna say anything yet. He might not be there, I don't know. Oh, he's about to cross it right now. I'll say it. How did it, how did it turn out? Nice finish, buddy. I'm almost done. Nick just finished yeah. second. Everything worked out well, though. Good job, guys. Thanks. Yep. That was a fun one. One was second, and then Chris, I think, is like, what, seventh? Chris? Yeah, I just finished seventh. Excellent. Did you guys both run the Porsche? Man, that was yep. a lot of work, guys. A lot of work. <laughs> Really good, good job on the racetrack, man. Yeah, they're getting tired. Really proud of everybody. You guys 